this is highly theatrical and you see a lot of attitudes, you see personalities, you see a wide range of dress, you see people of different ages, uh, different colors, different cultures, different backgrounds, and they're all brought together for a common purpose. And that purpose is to mix and match and be in the market. And I think when you're an artist here, you're not trying to capture an apple. You're trying to capture somebody buying an apple or somebody polishing an apple. Pike Place Market, like an artist's canvas, it is a work in progress. 100 years ago, it opened in protest to commercial food prices. Today, it's Seattle's most celebrated institution. Millions come here every year, thousands work here, and hundreds call it home. You can walk out in the market and a multitude, multitude of people. It's a moving, walk-in miracle. If you like people, you know, it's an ideal location. Amigdio Ramos is a walking miracle. He survived life-threatening injuries during the Vietnam War and has a home today in the market's low-income housing. I'm 70 years old, and I, I never been a, I never been old before. This is a first for me. <laughs> and there's a lot of things I can't do that I used to do, you know. I get a lot of fresh fruit for the market, then I get some potatoes and the dry noodles from the food bank. I'm on Social Security, you know, and, uh, but there's a lot of things I can't, I can't afford, you know, and I have to be so careful. We have rich and we have poor. How we take care of our poor, how we take care of our poor, means everything, I think. Amigdio is one story out of the hundreds who rely on Pike Place Market's social service agencies, the part of the market most of us don't see. The senior center, child care and preschool, food bank, and medical clinic. 